Hi there. Today I will demonstrate to you how to change the properties of your dimensioning tools. As you can see I'm using the gear that we've drawn a few days ago. This is the 3D model. I'm just on a plan view. Now before I change any properties I will just draw one dimension as it is so we can see the difference after we've changed it. I'm going to choose my orthogonal dimension tool from my tools palette and I'm going to use V on my keyboard, the snap mode V for vertex to pick up the vertex of the top of the gear and then I'm going to go to the bottom and pick up that vertex with V as well and just drag it to the side and click it down alright now you can see how it looks at the moment now to change the properties of your dimensioning tool right click on any of the tools of your dimension tools inside the dimension toolbox and your properties window will open up. I'm going to start here in my properties at format and I'm just going to run through this and tell you a few of the things that you can change. I'm not going to change everything just now. Here at the top you can change the size of your dimension. You can change the scale. Mine is set to 1. Uh, right underneath it is your arrow heads. You can change all your arrow heads there. I'm going to change my arrow head to this one. Now look at this picture on the left. See how it changed as soon as I changed my arrow head. Be careful not to change just the one. To change both your arrow heads. Otherwise you'll get something like this. Now look at that picture. I'm just going to change it back. See this picture shows you what happens. So whenever you change anything here. You can have a look at this picture at the bottom left. To see if you are making the correct changes. Over here you can change the size of your arrow heads. Underneath your text in the text boxes here you can change the text style, your font, the size of your text, the color of your text and you can put a frame around your text your text position I'm just going to change my vertical position and instead of putting my text on my line I'm going to put it above the line see how it changed there okay and just have a look at this if to force your text horizontal or to force your text inside the extension lines force your text horizontal that's what you get and inside your extension lines that's what you get I'm not going to tick any of them just now you might text inside your dimensions to be forced horizontal or inside the extension lines but you might want some of them to have that properties in that case you just select the one dimension after you've drawn it right click go into your properties and change it there for that one dimension okay let's go over to advanced format what I want to show you here is see the extension and offset the extension is set to 3 millimeters I just want to show what happens look at that little picture when I change it to something silly like 10 do you see how much these lines went up so your extension lines extends those two lines above your dimension the text line I'm going to keep this at 3 and then the offset it's at 1.5 I'm just going to make that 10 as well keep your eye over there 10 okay so that's the the offset you get from your drawing to where your dimension line starts and I'm gonna keep this on free as well for now okay under units and tolerance I'm gonna untick append units see the millimeters went away so I don't I'm, I'm do all my drawings in millimeters so I don't want to show millimeter on every dimension and if you go down here to the precision look at it it's 0 0.16 I'm going to change my precision to 0 the point whatever is after the point does not show okay that's all I'm going to change for now but please go play around with this um, see what changes you can make click OK still on orthogonal now pick up the vertex and at the bottom pick up that vertex and I'm just going to take it past this one and click it down and zoom in a bit go play around with it, change your dimension, change the sizes, change the scale change everything until it works for you thank you, that's all for today